that a lot. And usually how it goes, it ends up being a game five. But Dark Blues loses. He, like, will get ahead, gets flustered, yeah. and John stays tight. But Dark Blues has been improving, you know, staying tight lately, like mentally. So I think the stats say it all, man. Five to 15 Brooklyn brawls and, like, seven to... I didn't see what the number was there, but, yeah. like, in global, it's it's a similar kind of ratio, I think. That's crazy. Uh -huh. They've played at the, the majority of Oh, yeah, of the majority brawls. of their sets played are at brawls. No, no, no. They have played at the majority of brawls. Their head-to-head -head oh. is 15-5, and John's attended 36. Oh, damn. So they've played at the majority of them that John has attended, or that Dark Blues has Yeah, yeah that's actually they've 20, played of, 20, 20 of Dark Blues is 27 Oh, no, that, well, I didn't see the number there, but I don't know. That's a lot. Yeah, they played here a lot. Dang. Man. I mean, if you think about it, we got, well, this is Brawl's 51. I mean, that's like a third, more than a third of all Brawl's. Yeah. Wow. All right, Losers Finals, best of five. So safe to say they never play each other, and this is going to be like a first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've never seen this. Yeah, Dark Blue's usually able to dial it up, though. I mean, I, I, that was an interesting back throw there. I mean, I wonder if it's like a percentage thing. Why? Yeah, we'll see how it starts. I, I mean, I guess the way I think it normally goes, like you were saying, game five, but it's because of the back and forth adaptation, right? It's because, you know, one game, Dark Blue's will get an explosive combo. Oh, soft air. Another game, John will get soft air deep off ledge and kill <laughs> you. Man, that first hit of Nair, pretty big. That's too low. Almost. I honestly think a lot of mental, especially this late in bracket, playing against John. John chooses to be like a little more passive. Gotta gotta keep your mind sharp. Well, there was one week where there was a mix up, right? And I forget who John oh. was playing, but John like told. Oh, oh my god! I was gonna say told the opponent it was best of three when it's best of five because he didn't he didn't know. And then when we told him it was best of five, he felt bad because like uh, John ended up winning it. But I think. Like, uh, I oh think it just speaks God, to, like, dude. how the mentality is so different in best of fives versus. John's going in. Right. Good on Dark Blues to get that little Heaven's Gate or whatever to seal out the stock, but. Ooh, here we go. Here's okay, can we get. Comeback. Oh my God. Dark Blues loaded up. Oh. Grab him. <laughs> Please. Ooh, nice. Parry electric up smash. Ah, oh, man. Almost killing. Dark Blues really needs to close out the stock right now. I, I I assumed this was over, and I was literally wrong. Oh. You literally never count Kazuya Mishima out. All right, now I can count Kazuya <laughs> Mishima out, but <laughs> it's like, you know, you, sometimes you got to... It's like comedic timing being a commentator. I don't know. <laughs> like, was it me? Am I the reason this it happened? It was, Scott. Oh, sorry. You just hurt Dark Blues. I, man, I feel terrible. Dark Blues is looking great in the flannel. You. Can I speak good into the world? Not all like. <laughs> <laughs> well, you didn't know that I feed mics into their headsets. Oh my god! <laughs> Could you imagine that? <laughs> that would actually be so toxic. I would get so pissed hearing a commentator commentate my set and like narrate incorrectly the things I'm doing. Like bad, you know? I don't know. Have you ever played at a local where the commentation booth is right next to this setup? Uh, it's been a really long time. I yes, call like it like one, back, yeah, yeah, yeah. in. You know, redacted game days. And I could just hear people saying shit that made no sense. And I, was I was like, ah, please. It makes you want to lose it, man. I was actually worried about that here when we did the couch setup at first. I was like, what if they could hear? But oh, they yeah. can't. Like, the way the noise works, it's not really an issue. Unless they're standing right behind you. Ooh, goes deep for the dare. I think it takes some balls to try to spike Kazium. That up B is, like, strong. It'll knock you against the stage. I agree, it has a whole different mechanic behind it because of the way hit lag works with Kazuya's moves. It's pretty tough to trade with that thing. Yeah. It's like a big, meaty claw. Tough to trade and way harder to tech, or way different to tech. Much faster. And John with the techs right now, though, on that back air. Back in the corner now, what's it going to be? Now John takes corner. Oh, sucks him up from the bottom with the Rage Drive. So smart. Actually, that didn't use Rage Drive. Maybe that gave Kazuya Rage Drive. Ooh. So just killing outright without it, now Kazuya has it on deck. That's pretty big. Whenever you go into a fresh stock, it's Kazuya with Rage Drive. Deck free 40. If you can save it to the next stock, oh, Rage gone. No, yeah, it can be huge to get that free 40%. That's Massive. so much. Like, other ca characters have to hit you with, like, a three-piece combo, four-piece combo to get that. Four-piece combo. You just check out, you just check out with your... <laughs> 
Can I get a 40%? And the person back in the microphone goes, how am I, how am I? Like, you can't, you can't hear them at all. That's how drive throughs work. <laughs> but that's because John's sitting at the ledge. That's why you can't hear him. <laughs> I'm like three layers deep into a metaphor that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> we gotta move on. <laughs> Does someone know how to animate videos so we can make a video of whatever the fuck Scott just said? <laughs> Dark Blue is ordering in a drive through as Kazuya. But it's really just John numbers sitting <laughs> behind a <the> ledge. <laughs> <Yeah. responding. laughs> All right, I'm down for it. Nice roll read in. It's the slam. Uh, Super slam, I'm not going to kill just yet. Oh! oh! Ball hit actually sending at an upwards angle. Getting double hit there, though. John at 153 now. Yeah, I, be, be a little more scared of the upbeat, John. I, at 153, like, a straight hit will explode you. Probably be untackable. All right, up air. Yeah, I, I, up air. The hitbox on that is bigger than I think. It's not like Hero's up air. Like Kazuya's up air is big, but it's weird because it looks not. But big. yeah, like, like right there, like John was fairly low in front of Kazuya's face when that actually did connect. Like, and I kept seeing Dark Blue's hit it earlier out of Steelix's combos. Falling up air was oh, connecting yeah. a lot yeah. on Falco. So I wonder, you know, if the hitbox is just bigger than I think. Fighting back now, though, is John trying to fight, <laughs> trying to find a way in right now. It's so difficult. Sun Salutation connects. He needs to close up the stock right away. Got to be careful oh of that Rage God. Drive. Can't fish too hard. Oh, sir. Oh, nice laser. Wow. I, I actually love John trying to stall down there with Dark yeah. Blues. Kind of trying to make Dark Blues panic a little bit, I think. You know? Not really falling for it so much, though. I have never seen Nair kill. Nair almost killed there. Almost off the top. All right, back hit of F tilt will do it. At only 63%, I mean, this is quite a doable deficit. Dark Blue is looking to get on the board, though. Uh, double dash attack? I, I was waiting for the triple. <laughs> yeah, it looked like he could have maybe shield poked with it. Dark All right. Blues hits that young electric. Uh, oh. Wow, just nice kicked deck. the Sun Salutation out of existence, and now it's Dark Blues' combo. Ooh. Doesn't take the game, though. Are we, oh, that's scary against John, my friend. Absolutely. F tilt range. Oh, can't die from F tilt. John is nice. being freaky right now. And I, ah, <laughs> I love that grab. I can't believe it didn't work. Dark Blue's fishing so hard right now, and that might be his demise. Yeah, wants the up beat. Ah, oh, nice. gets the dash, dash tech, tech, though. Yeah, that one killed. It, it, actually, Dark Blue's shaking his head in the fire. I fan. wonder if it was a misinput. And it worked, and that was the only thing that was probably going to hit unless it was side B. And the electric would have whiffed, would have been. It, it actually might have been. I don't know. But it's a good move. Like, I kind of wish Dark Blues would use it a little more. Not like a lot, because then it gets predictable. But you yeah. want... It's good to close out stocks. You forget. You're like Pikachu. You're like... Yeah, it's stronger than I think. It works. Yeah. And it's nice. I mean, dash attacks in general, great for catching a win. Just yeah. like always. They're like a, a short-range burst option. A little burst option, yeah. yeah. No, I like it in neutral, because then I hit people's shield and lose all the time. <laughs> And be dash attacking Scott. Ah, but it's so good on Rob. Then I get fair. There are definitely <laughs> months at a time that I go and forget. Like I, I have Scott never, I have attack. never seen you dash attack. I can't yeah, remember a I, single time. It's like good. I should use it more for, for specific cases. Right. And sometimes I do like down throw dash attack, just because it also covers di out. I just don't get anything else out of it. Sure. But on small battle. Oh, oh what? How did John what? slip off stage there? Oh. Was that just a tech roll out? That was tech roll out, and he down smashed it, and John just went to the Shadow Did Realm. Did he just, like, jump frame one after tech rolling out or something and got slammed? Or somehow slipped off? I, I guess have no... Push maybe him. it's like, yeah, maybe it was like the collision box of Kazuya at the end of the roll pushed John off stage. I guess it could have. I can't think of any way else other than, like you said, frame one jump. But it looked like he was still in the roll. I don't know. Yeah. Well, may never know. Well... Unless you look at the VODs <laughs> and analyze frame by frame. Unless you watch 12G Proclaim Brawl's VODs. Check it out on the 12G Smash channel. Oh, great back air. guys? Like Super and subscribe. Deep. <laughs> <laughs> like, smash that like button. Absolutely smash that B button. Ash. Comment as hard it. as you can. <laughs> Everything you hate about us. <laughs> good for the algorithm. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Oh, good little scoop up. 66%. Dark Blue's looking to close this one out real quick. Yeah. See that rising up air there again, too? It's yeah, big. It's bi it is big. 
Ah, uh, Sunsight, going to close it out. No right. three stock. On has a little bit of deep breathing, about to get a second one. This is where, you know, Dark Blues gets these leads because he has these explosive combos, but Mahan's great at wow. bringing it back, man. John is so good at those offstage, like bouncing off the stage with the hula hoop into a back air combos. Like, this was, this was Dark Blues game way ahead, but numbers with 100% straight on. Might even oh, stocks. actually able to stomp the up B. Cause you know at one stock as well. You're right. This is insane. That was a huge comeback from numbers. Now this was transferred. Dark Blues to get ahead in the set. Gotta clutch. Gotta focus. Both of these players have to find their focus. Uh oh. Back air. John. Oh my God. Out for blood right now. Gets a double hit on the ball spike for a huge damage. That was like 34 percent. Oh, oh, stop. No Fair. Dude, Dark Blues could die in one hit now. <gasps> oh, is there still a jump? There is not. No way. Wow. Dark Blues looking so dejected in that player cam. I mean, yeah. you hate to see it. Like that. I mean, that's a frustrating way for it to go. You're up three stocks to one. Your opponent's at like 80%. And John brought it all the way back. Didn't? Oh, yeah. He knew right there. In the player cam, he's like, what? Yep. He must have did it off stage in that earlier interaction. I, I, it was kind of quick and hard to see there. Yeah. Replay. All right, John with the two-one lead. Yeah. I think we see actually, actually like unless it's a blowout. Dark Blues usually gets ahead in the set count early on, and then. We'll so falter. you think we're kind of breaking that pattern a little? Bit. Maybe this is time for Dark Blues to say not. Nah, Dark Blues to rise up. I don't know. It's it's like tough to read too much into people's faces, especially with John wearing a mask. But like. <laughs> Uh, ooh, back air. I was oh, say, God. Early Dark, kill. Dark was not looking so fierce in the player cam right now, but coming out hot, so who knows? <laughs> uh, now, now he's looking fierce. Now he's getting into it. As soon as he threw out an electric win, his whole face changed. <laughs> Dude, that's hilarious. <laughs> i got to see if that happens more often. <laughs> it was the second he threw out an electric. Ooh, buried on plat. Ooh. Out of the berry. All right. John looking to close out a stock in the corner here, not able to find it. Now Dark Blues in advantage state once more. Oh, oh. Going deep. no tech on the fair. Uh oh. Start something. Oh, oh man, there. almost off the top. Fair, not going to do it in the corner. One fifty. Dark Blues is hunting right now. Really, he's going off stage. Yeah, way like, more than he usually does. Way more. I saw that. Looked like a personal dash attack. <laughs> All right, same situation as last game. Well. Well, pretty uh, close. Pretty different. similar. Well, actually, like this is exactly what happened. Yeah. This is exactly what happened. Oh, he wants the three stock. Dude, if John brings us back again, something's in the water. Like, <laughs> call up whoever services <laughs> the Brookland water supply. Because this would be nuts. All right, Dark Blue's being a little more cautious. In center stage. Oh. Oh, oh gets no. a spike hitbox. Yeah. Dark Blue's not happy with that one. Baited for the Still spike. a full two stocks. And I think Dark Blue's like needs to not freak out. Yeah. Like keep your space, keep center stage, get your electric, get your conversion. Smashing the ball down into the fit there. It should do more damage based on like the velocity you send it back at, you know? Yeah. Oh, nice spot dodge. Gets around that grab I was saying with the, the grab one two. Oh Ooh, back air closes. Yeah, kind of reversals with the back air there. Pause on that laser frame. That kind of yeah, I've never seen laser for that long. All right, big win for Dark Blue going into game five. So here's what I'm noticing. Kazuya has pleated pants on. He's a businessman. Yeah, but like at, after all this activity, those pleats are perfectly crisp like that? I don't Dude, know. Dude, you don't get... No, you he get comes out. back from the dry cleaner and then shows up to small battlefield to fight... <laughs> fit woman. <laughs> X looking <laughs> scary in that camera, dude. Look at him. He's no, I, didn't, dude, wait, I don't look, see look him. Look at the camera. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's looking like Slender dude, Man back like there. That, bro. Yeah. I don't like that at all. He's, it's like it's going to come back to us and it'll be closer, <laughs> you know, like uh, Five Nights at yeah, Freddy's. Yeah. <laughs> he was doing that on purpose. Uh, oh, man. Uh, back in again. Small Battlefield once more. The Breach. Dark Blues came out hot for game four. A lot of damage. And game three. Yeah, and game three. But, yeah, game four was a different story. And this game so far, John kind of, you know, landing first blood. Oh, uh, that bear. You know, Kazuya, I think Dark Blues hesitated, right? Because it was an awkward position. Couldn't get the nair follow-up. Maybe he was thinking about what else he could do. 
John capitalized, said, actually, if you're going to do nothing, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> if you're not going to take this moment, I will. <laughs> okay, uh, back air. I mean, this is the thing, because we, we think about it in terms of offstage play, but John really is the... Oh, oh my God. Dang. Dude, these games are too explosive. Yeah. All we right. fit versus Kazu. I know. All right, John did his use Dark Blues. Get comeback. Three stock comeback. Gonna take a lot. It's gonna take a lot. Gonna take a village. This one man with some pretty cool hair. <laughs> All right, nice. electric up smash. All right, that's stock number one. We know Kazuya can do it, but we, we know it's a mountain. We've seen Dark Blues take two back to back zero deaths, but this this really is a mountain, Scotty boy. Oh um, man, I wonder if that up smash was intentional. Oh, oh smacks the ball back perfectly. Playing soccer, baby. <laughs> that's nuts. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. I can't tell if that was supposed to be that command input grab or if it was an electric coming out. Or yeah, I'm not sure. But um, regardless, it was a solid win from John in that game five. A different story from games three and four, like where John had to like fight the way back in game three. John kind of just took that one real strong. Yeah, John, John looking good. Going back to face Wandale Ding Lingleton and Grant. What's up, uh, Kisara Sheep? Kisara Sheep. Um, yeah, going on to face D-Dog. Uh, knocked John into losers. That set was 3-1.